Okay, so what I wanted to do, after looking at my last video, I thought, my God, if I'm going to sell this thing, I've got to come up with a little bit more emphasis and get in there a little bit more. Talk a bit clearer, all of a sudden, I'm like, well, some sort of weird episode. I'm not in Jamaica, I'd love to see it, say that is, but that is my back garden with some weird and wonderful pineapple trees. This doesn't even grow pineapples and it's getting out of control. All right, but today's exercise is called a ton up. It's something you could do in the gym. If you do it in the gym, you probably want to use weights, perhaps not massive ones, but certainly work on the toning. Your hyperbole will build up your strength and the endurance that's aspect through basically becoming like a CrossFit. However, at home, it's very good for your body weight. It's awesome throughout the winter once because it's something you can do inside the house. You can use any exercise you see fit. You could do it with two exercises. You can do it with three, four, all, right, all the way up to pretty much 10 is your maximum because it's called a turn-up. You'll be starting with 10 exercises, rest, 10 exercises again, rest, and then another set. And I'll talk you through the rest apart in a minute. In terms of the equipment stuff that I'm using here at home and I have one of them being an ab wheel, all right? And then I'm gonna be using my resistant bands. For the upper body, I'm gonna use these for some sort of shoulder press. For the lower body, I'm gonna be using it for deadlifts, okay? Other aspects of the lower body, you can do anything. You can do your standard in and out jumps. So if you're going all fours, your, your legs, legs just jumping in and out, you could do it almost the same bit, but your legs jumping side to side, almost like you're skiing down a slope. You can do squat jumps, you can do normal body weight jumps. Um, in terms of upper body, obviously you've got your different types of press ups, incline decline, normal power press ups. You could do shoulder press, you can do a Spider Man. So you go into the press up, but as you do, you bring your leg up like that, go up, down, and bring it into that part. Long worms, you're standing straight down, you crawl out, keep your feet there, crawl out, press up, crawl the way back, stand up. You can do burpees, which should put them more for your lower body, but will help with core work and upper body strength with that bit. So I'm doing 10 different exercises, of which two is gonna be one sprint, one core, four upper body, four lower body. You can load it as you see fit. You can do lower body first, then upper body to finish. It depends on how you wanna do it, vice versa. You can do lower body, upper body, lower body, upper, oh, blah, 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 all right to the top, all right? So how then for work is, I'm gonna start, probably let's just go with it, I'm gonna start with my press ups first. Do 10 of them, I rest 10 seconds. I then do 10 press ups again. Then I go into say squat jumps, rest 10 seconds. I then do press ups again, squat jumps, and then say shoulder press, wait 10 seconds. And I do that all the way up, implementing a new exercise each time to the point where I'm doing 10 in one go 10 times. All right, like I say, it's something I ripped off from the army. It's an awesome bit of workout. You can bring your sprints, they can vary if you're doing your back garden. I've not got anything like acres and acres of land, so I'm just gonna be running in my carpool, which is about eight meters. But it's good sprint, so I'll sprint forward, sprint back. That blast of energy, burst of energy keeps me going, okay? And it's just that endurance aspect, bringing in some a bit of strength work as well. All right, so that is it for today in terms of my exercise. It's all building up for me to, in two weeks time, I'm gonna see how my training to show you guys how you this sort of like sports conditioning. Look out for the life coaching, little top tips that I'm putting out, trying to build people's thing, trying to put it into a different perspective on how we can tack stuff and what I can offer to everyone else. All right, so the sports conditioning will be doing stuff like this, that like high intensity, I'll be still doing the normal cycle, I'll be doing some spinning. It's not too dissimilar to some people, all right, some people might do less, it doesn't matter. The point is by doing something, means that my time or anyone's time should come down and I strongly believe that with the right mindset, right sort of um, nutrition that you take on board, even if you treat yourself, just push yourself that bit more to burn whatever you put in, get it out, or right? use it to your effectiveness. It's all about quality of life, all about boosting confidence and in two weeks time I'm going to see if I can move my 3451 down, I reckon I can shave 20 seconds off, all right? If I can, that's what I'm going down to. It could be even better, but then the minimum is 20 seconds. So I'm looking for 34, 31, all right? And that's at the end of this month before I head off back to the other career. All right, so have a good one and I'll speak to you guys soon. Let me know how this goes, all right? And like I say, it's called a turn up. Easy as, enjoy.